Hi, Sergeant Devil Dog here, and welcome to my new video on Minecraft for Dummies Farming Animals. As you can see by the end of our last farming video, we have quite a good sized vegetable garden with more food than we need to survive. What are we going to do with that food, you ask? Well, one thing we can do is use it to attract animals to our farm so we can get some meat. So, let's get into it. First thing we're going to do is grab some wheat. Wheat is used for attracting sheep and cows. So we're going to go and look and see if we can actually attract some cows and bring back to our farm. Cows are useful because you can use them to get leather and meat. Rightio, there's a cow over here. We'll actually lead him back into the farm. Once we get him back to the farm, we'll go looking for some more because you need two or more to actually breed. As you can see they follow you quite easily. If you get too far away from them they will actually just turn around and eventually wander off so all you do is walk back to them and get closer and get their attention again and they'll start following you again. Rightio, we have one cow. Just drop your food oh, and they'll stop following you. Alright, we'll head out into this paddock because I thought I saw some cows over the back. Rightio, two more cows. Rightio. This paddock over the back here is my overflow paddock so once we start breeding them and we get too many in these little pens we'll actually open the back gate and let a heap of them out into the back pen. Get them in here. Then all we do on your PlayStation is hit right two, and you will actually feed the cows. You can tell you feed the cows because they got love hearts over them. Once they're fed, they'll actually breed, and there you go. You have a little potty calf. It normally takes two or three days, and he'll grow up to a full size cow, and then you can breed him again. Radio. We'll go back and see what other vegetables we've got. Radio. We'll grab some carrots. Carrots are used to attract pigs. So what we'll do is harvest a couple of carrots and then we'll go find some pigs. As you can see there's actually pigs already in the pen. They actually spawned in there overnight. So I'll just add to them. Radio. We've got our pig. Come on piggy piggy follow us. Once we get the pig into the pen we'll do the same thing as we've done with the cows simply feeding the pigs and they'll breed and we'll have a couple of little baby pigs. Feed the pigs and wait and there we go we have a baby pig. We'll head off in this direction over here and this time we're actually going to try to get some seed so we'll just go around and punch some grass again. The reason we want to get seed is we want to get some chooks. So we'll just keep punching and there's some chooks over here on the hill. So what we'll do is grab, try to grab some more seed on the way back while we're bringing them back and that way we've got enough to actually breed them when we get them in their pen. You need chooks so you can get eggs and feathers and meat. The eggs are used so you can bake cakes with your wheat and milk and sugar cane, sugar. And the feathers are used to put on your arrows when you get a bow. So we'll just feed them up. There's our lover hearts. And there we have a baby chook. Chooks are one of the easiest ones to get food for because it's this grass. 
it's starting to get a bit dark so we'll go back to our house and get up in the morning alright we'll head out this way and we'll go look for some sheep this time we need the sheep for our wool and for meat so we'll keep heading out over this way under these trees just remember there's multiple different types of coloured sheep so hopefully we'll try to get more than one colour if not we can always dye the wool later on once we've actually shorn the sheep there we go, there we go, a couple of sheep in the background actually three sheep and there's three different colours that means we've got three different colour wools without even having to dye anything black, white and grey that was a good find, you don't normally find three of these different colours all at once the most common one you get is normally white but this is a bonus so we'll just lead them back to the pen once we get them in our pen we'll do the same thing and we'll breed them when you breed them it's just a random drop of what colour baby sheep you'll get sometimes you'll get white white ones, black ones, grey ones it's just a random drop now, when you actually put your sheep in the pen you'll notice they'll actually start eating squares of grass so you you need to watch the amount of grass area that you put them in and every time you shear the sheep they'll eat another square of grass to grow their wool back so if your pen's not big enough you might have to make a bigger pen It's hard to get three animals at once through the gate, so this might take a little bit of time. We've got one through. We'll just go and push one out of the way, try to make it so they they come in. All right, two and come on, radio. Now that we've got them here, simply feed them the wheat. You'll have love hearts, and they'll go and breed. What colour bubby are we going to get? Oh, we got a white one. Rightio, what we'll do is with this extra food is actually breed these cows again. If you like the content of my video, please feel free to hit the like button. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please feel free to hit the follow button and be notified of when I actually release my next video. Alright, we've got some carrots and we'll feed the pigs. And please feel free to hit the subscribe button down the bottom so I know the content I'm putting in my videos is what you'd like to see. Right here. I'm just going to run over here and pick some more grass to get some seed so we can actually feed to those birds, those chickens, and actually breed the chickens up. As you can see, there's a lot of grass around and it grows pretty quick. So you're forever running around punching grass. Alright, we've got four seeds. Alright, feed one bird. Feed baby bird. As you can see, the baby bird has stars around it. It doesn't actually breed. It's only the ones with love hearts that breed. And we have a second baby chicken. Right, there is only one more animal we need to worry about on our farm, and that's bees. So simply go and collect some flowers. If you'd like to actually know more about bees, how to capture them, how to move their hives, please stay tuned to my channel, and in the next couple of weeks I'll be releasing a video on bees. Right, now that we've got our flowers, we'll just head back to our hives, and we'll wait for the bees to come out. And once the bees come out, we simply feed them and they'll breed so it normally takes a couple of minutes as soon as they actually come out of the hives as long as you're holding the flowers they'll come straight over to you 
Right, here's one, here's two, three. So all we'll do is quickly feed the bees. They'll have love hearts, and as you can see, they'll breed. Right, there's a baby bee. Rightio, that's all we need to worry about while farming animals. So thanks for watching my video, and I'll catch you on the next one. So bye for now.